Muslims who try to kill Dr. Ben had to cancel their trip to Egypt. That's why we tried to cancel out. But they don't want you coming over there to visit the pyramids. Because it predates their belief. You follow that? Yeah. Yes. And because of that, they don't want you there. And anybody that advocates it, they think it's justified. They think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling them it's all right to kill anybody who don't believe what they believe. They're making Allah a party to their weaknesses. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the alim. The alim, he knows everything and he's above all things. He don't need you going out killing people for him. He makes rain, hell, snow, and earthquakes. Right. No doubt about it. I'm saying that if a Muslim was a Muslim and understood the terminology, Allahu Akbar, mm -hmm. the Allahu Akbar, Allah is most, the most biggest, the most profoundest, or the greatest. What? <coughs> you know how silly it is for Nusir to go kill somebody? To think that he has the kind of relationship with Allah that Allah put him in his confidence and said, I need you to do me a favor. <laughs> I need you to go kill this, this rabbi because he causes too much trouble. Do you know what you're doing? You're making Allah look like he doesn't have the power to do it. And Allah can do anything. I mean, it's true. They don't want me and you as black folk to talk about that because those are black folk in Egypt. But all you have said. When I got to Egypt, I saw a black face, fully haired people. You can look up all the Greeks that visit there. They had to describe the Egyptians, and not once did they describe the Turks or the Greeks that you see in Egypt today. They described Negroes. They didn't describe dark skinned Negroes with wavy hair or brown skinned Negroes with curly hair. They said black with kinky hair. That excludes a lot of us, but it just happens to be the truth. That's what they saw. Before Dr. Ben Yankin and all the other scholars today started writing, which I support. Before Dr. Ben Yankin and all the other scholars today started writing, which I support. Before Dr. Ben Yankin and all the other scholars today started writing, which I support. But they didn't go back to the source, people who were there. He saw you, Africans, there. And why they want us to be everything but Egyptian. They don't mind us being Christian. They don't mind us being Muslim. They don't mind us being Buddhist. We can cut our hair off and get a little patch and put an orange robe on and be a Hare Krishna. Stand in the airport in South Bambas, but don't link up and take Egypt seriously. They fought against Dr. Ben Yachlin for over 50 years as he tried to reveal how powerful Egypt was. They fought against Dr. Ben Yachlin for over 50 years as he tried to reveal how powerful Egypt was. They fought against Dr. Ben Yachlin for over 50 years as he tried to reveal how powerful Egypt was. You hear me? And the power the Egyptians had once they start realizing they're Egyptians. That's the first thing. The first realization is, I'm not just studying Egyptology. I am an Egyptian. I know y'all are thinking, walk like an Egyptian, talk like an Egyptian. They did that too. They put that in your mind, so it turns it into a joke. We had words cause the best supposed to class at the top But kept it brotherly when we seen each other and stopped Think about how us real niggas would be If we united, a nation of thugs who could fight it We had words cause the best supposed to class at the top But kept it brotherly when we seen each other and stopped Think about how us real niggas would be If we united, a nation of thugs who could fight it We had words cause the best supposed to class at the top But kept it brotherly when we seen each other and stopped Think about how us real niggas would be If we united, a nation of thugs who could fight it